What do you do? What do you do, YouTube man? It is your boy Porsche, man, and welcome to another movie night. Right. We're gonna be checking out some animated ones, bro. I came across this Doctor No Sleep channel, bro. And this one called the Dark Well Four Story Animated. And it's called Jump Scare. Talk to nicely. I regret everything I did. Now all I can see are those images. I can't get them out of my head. Everywhere I go, they are listening to me, watching me. Please learn from my story, or you may end up like I did. I am a horror movie junkie. I watched every scary movie known to man. I also stay up to date on scary animations on YouTube. Nothing really scares me anymore these days. Every horror movie is predictable, and nothing is unique anymore. Mm -hmm. One day after a long day at work, I came home and laid in bed. My girlfriend Sarah called me. We talked for a while, and all of a sudden, she brought up the dark web. I tried this website out that my friend showed me. It is quite scary. I know you are into horror movies, so I thought you'd like it, she told me. I responded, well, I'll give anything a try just to get a good scare. How scary was it for you? It was the scariest thing I've seen in my life. It wasn't even the website that was the scary part. When I closed my computer, I swear I still saw those things in real life, she replied. Dang. You saw those things in <clears throat> real life? I questioned. Yeah. A lot of the images and beings I saw on the website started to appear around me. Luckily, after about 10 to 15 minutes, it all stopped. It was the craziest and scariest experience of my life, she replied. She gave me the link to the site. It was called jumpscare.onion. I wasn't familiar at all with the dark web, so I needed to watch a tutorial on how even to access it. After the tutorial, I typed in the website on the Tor browser. The site loaded. Unsurprisingly, the top of the page said, Jump Scare. The website logo was a creepy looking spider. I wasn't at all impressed. Bro, you worried the about the spider? Felt lame and cheesy. I was about to click away when a chat response popped up. It almost seemed to read my mind. About to click away so soon? I responded, Why, yes. Your website is underwhelming and isn't all that scary. We haven't even started your session yet, Brandon. What do you mean by session? Bro, how does she know your name, bro? You worried about this, bro? Are you kidding me? I, I'm not. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it, bro. This this dude or lady or whoever just said your name and you're talking. You worried about the session, bro? Bro, the dark web is. A, it sounds like a scary place. I don't even want to know yes. about it, to be honest. The I don't intro even know session, I'm Brandon. This. We display scary images on the screen and can instantly gauge your reaction based on your response to the images. We can personally tailor the images to fit your life. These images will be personalized and will be sure to give you the scare you desire. Second I thought time. back to what my girlfriend said about the images following her around after she was done with the session. How do you even gauge my expression if I am not in front of you? I asked. Well, just look at your computer screen. Your camera is on and we can see your face. Based on your facial expressions, our software can gain a lot of insights on what scares you and what doesn't. Bro, get off that website. Get the hell out! Get out! They know your camera is on and they can see your facial expression? Are you kidding me? And they, and they just said your name twice, bro. Replied. I glanced at my computer screen. Sure enough, on the top of my screen, there was a blinking red light they turned showing it on. that I was being recorded. I felt a little uncomfortable at this point, but I decided to continue. This was the worst mistake of my life. Okay, but first, if you don't mind me asking, what is your name? My name is Adam, he replied. All right, Adam, I am ready to move forward to the intro session, but I have to warn you, I have built up quite the tolerance for scary things. There are not many things that scare me these days, I said. Don't you worry, Brandon. I'm sure we will discover various things in our session that will eventually scare you. Especially in real life, he said. I don't know why he kept bringing up real life. Our session was all on the computer. That seemed a bit odd to me. Bro. Whatever you say, Adam, I am ready to go. Adam typed back. I'm going to display an image across the screen. Let me know exactly how you feel when looking at it. Be as detailed as possible. Oh. I posted an image in the chat. The image showed a bunch of shadowy figures floating in the sky. You couldn't make out any of their facial features. It was definitely a creepy image, but nothing that scary. Bro.
Okay, I'm already starting to like this now. You got the sound effects up in here, my dude? Nice. I responded to Adam. Well, the image is definitely creepy, but not really that scary. How did you feel when you first saw it? He asked. A little uneasy, but that quickly went away. When I realized it was just an image and not a video, I replied. Our system is getting a lot of great information from your reactions. Try to imagine opening the front door to your house and looking outside. How would you feel if you saw the same floating beings? Adam asked. Well, I would have to admit that would be pretty scary and creepy, I said. Great. Moving on then. Here is the next image. <laughs> that look like a marshmallow with a face, man. Are you kidding me, dude? The creepy, bloated up face of a woman. She was smiling from ear to ear. Okay, Adam. That is definitely scary. You got me there. The image definitely generated some anxiety in myself. I said back. He Boy, if I go in my kitchen right now and get some marshmallows, draw a line through it with a pen, bam, give it some lips, pucker up the nose a little bit. What would I do for eyes? What do the eyes look like? Marbles? Uh. You know what I'm saying? Responded. Not gonna get into now that. Tell me exactly how would you feel if you went to use the bathroom and your reflection was that woman? That would be scary as hell, no, I said. This whole thing was getting strange. Part of me wanted to quit the session right then and there, but another part of me wanted more. I wanted to see what Adam had to offer next. Adam continued. Here is the next image, Brandon. Tell me what you think. The image was of a long, dark staircase leading down into a basement. Oh my god. At the bottom of the staircase, there was a creepy man. Yo! Looked like yo! A mask on his face. That one isn't too scary, Adam. Help! Because you didn't get the sound effect, my man. Are you kidding me? I'm liking this a lot, bro. The sound effects are taking this, my immersion, to the next level. I've seen scarier things watching basic horror films. This one was the least scary out of all the images so far. Thanks for your feedback, Brandon. I am aware you have a basement. What if you were to head to your basement staircase and see the same man at the bottom? He asked. I thought to myself, how did this guy know I had a basement? That's what I'm saying, bro. I guess I supposed. If I saw the man while looking down my basement staircase, I would be terrified, I replied. Great. Thanks for being so honest, Brandon. Bro, he, he you playing no you. idea how much that helps the session progress forward. Here is the next one, Brandon. He planned him. know what you think. He's getting all the his... The image was of two skeletal creatures. One had his arm around the other's shoulder. They both had these large, beady white eyes. Both had a wicked smile from ear to ear. They certainly looked creepy, but it Don't didn't really me. ignite much emotion from me. I'm going to be honest, Adam. This one is creepy, but not scary. I didn't feel any emotion while looking at it, I responded. What if you opened the curtains in your bedroom and you saw two similar figures? He asked. He's implanting all this stuff in his head. I would obviously be scared. Why do you keep using real life examples? This is getting a little weird, I said back. Adam continued. Don't worry. These situations are just hypotheticals. No, They're it's not. used to extract more information out of you for our software, that's all. Anyways. Let's move on to the next image. Tell me what you see and exactly how you... Guys, he's planting all this stuff in his head, bro. You know how after you watch a horror movie and you start hearing sounds? You know what I'm saying? Just like that time when um, me and Berlin, we had played, what was that? Phasmophobia. And right after we got out, because we, I think we was... I, I don't know if we um, messed with a Ouija board on there or not, but after we got out, bro, we, we could not sleep, bro. That's how bad that Ouija board and that game messed with our heads. And I'm telling you right now, I think that's what this dude is doing. The image was of a classic Spider-Man looking character. He wore what looked like a black suit and a tie. His face was white and featureless. This had to be the least scary image of them all. Are you crazy? Really, Adam? Everyone has seen the Slender Man. He is not scary anymore. Are you crazy? Well, Brandon, what if you were driving and you glanced to your right and in the distance you saw Slender Man? That would be moderately scary. Let's stop with these stupid hypotheticals. Actually show me something scary, Adam. Yo, man, relax! The intro session is over, Brandon. You will need to complete the rest of your sessions before we can reset your life to normal. Have a good day, and don't get too scared. I sat there frozen, staring at my computer screen, wondering what the hell had just happened. I thought to myself, 
What did he mean by resetting my life back to normal? The session wasn't really creepy, but I had gotten a really eerie vibe from Adam. This whole thing didn't sit right with me. I just wanted to get some fresh air at this point and get out of the house. I opened my front door. My jaw dropped. The same figures I know as before it. What I tell you? were floating right in front of me, staring directly at me. My heart started to race. This had to be a bad dream. This couldn't be a dream. Everything felt and looked so real. I slammed the door shut and walked in the bathroom to contemplate what I had just seen. Watch this. I glanced Not a lady. at the mirror. Oh my God, I said out loud. The creepy woman stared right back at me. It was my reflection. I felt my face and everything felt normal. How the hell was this happening? Was I going insane? I ran out from the bathroom and past the basement staircase. I had to look. Something in uh -huh. me just made me want to. It was curiosity, yeah. or maybe stupidity, or probably both. Stupid. To my horror, there was a man in a mask at the bottom, staring directly up at me. He didn't move or flinch. I tried closing my eyes really hard and opening them, hoping I would wake up from this real-life nightmare. Nothing worked. All this was real, but how was this at all possible? Maybe my house was haunted. I needed to get out of here. I ran into my room to get my shoes and my belongings. Man, if you don't stop galloping like that to your house, man! Your mouth been open this whole time and I ain't heard one scream! Hey, what is this? Upon entering, I heard a tapping sound coming from the Those window. things at the window. I saw a shadow outside. My heartbeat somehow increased even more. I slowly inched closer to my window. I knew I needed to face my fears or they would take over me. I extended my arm and moved my curtains. Oh, there they were. my God. The they gave me chills. Just staring at me. What do you want from me? I yelled at them. They just stood there emotionless. I closed the curtains and ran out of my room. I sprinted out the front door and ran to the next. The creatures were still in the air. Ignoring them, I backed out of my driveway and got the hell out of there. As I continued bro. down the road, a sense of relief flowed over me. It was all over. I could finally relax and not worry about seeing any creepy things. I tried to rationalize my experience. I concluded that my mind must have just projected the images out in real life. Adam must have hypnotized me in some way in order to make me see those things. I slowed down in preparation for the stop sign Could straight be. ahead. I came to a complete stop and looked left. There were no cars coming. I looked to my right and I froze. In the clearing of the forest, away from the road, was the same Slenderman creature. A loud pinging sound broke my stare with the being. It was my phone. I looked down and read the message. It said, you can run, Brandon, but you can't hide. You must finish your sessions. And then you will stop seeing these things. What? Thanks for watching. You can watch another scary animation here. Bro, Dr. No Sleep, bro, you're on the sound, bro. The sounds that are in his um animations are crazy. I think that's like the first animated horror video that I've seen with actual jump scares, bro. Guys, if you want me to watch another one, let me know down in the comments, bro. By hitting that lit button also, bro. This was lit. Guys, let me know what you think of this one, man. I knew that's what he was doing, though. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's why he kept asking those questions, bro. I knew it. New to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that lit button for your boy, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out this time. Oh, dang. Oh, that was crazy.